Because IV vitamins are fucking fantastic for it. That's what I gave my parents when, when my parents had it. Yeah. I got my parents on the IV vitamins and um, monoclonal antibodies. That that stuff is super effective. That's what saved Trump. I mean, you got to remember, Trump is fat and old. Yeah. And four days after it, he was like campaigning and fucking yeah. waving at people. Sure. Four days. That's pretty impressive. That's when I lost all my fear of the drug, of the disease. When he- I was like, I just need to get what that guy got. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> He's eating KFC every day and shit. <laughs> that guy hasn't run in Ever. 25 years. He thinks of his body like a battery, yeah. and he thinks that you exercise, you you lose energy. One thing that is incredible about that guy is that, you know, I'm saying even when you when you watch him as president, he was full of fucking energy. Full of it. Every day. And they say he slept for like four hours a night. He's one of those people. He's on Adderall. God. Do you think he's on Adderall? Yes. I do. Be only because... There were multiple people who used to work on The Apprentice that were like, he was fucking gassed up for shoots. Really? Yeah, because he has trouble reading. He doesn't. He 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 would trouble. He would struggle to read prompter or script when he was just, uh, let's say, sober. Uh huh. So they would give him that, and he would dial in more on reading because he gets he gets very bored. They said, you know, he, gets, yeah. he would he would get bored at the CIA briefing in the mornings. He was like, I don't want to read that. There's a daily briefing you get as president. He's like, you fucking read it, and then tell me, and if it's boring. So they would have to make it more engaging for him, because he would just tap out. I heard that they out. would put his name in briefings mm -hmm. multiple times to keep him interested. And then <laughs> Kushner, you know, his son-in-law, yeah. said that he came up with a formula uh, to keep him engaged. Kushner was, did? Yes, because, you know, he obviously was close to him and knew him well, and the formula was, um, like, two good, one bad. So if they were going to give him bad oh. news... They could go, you start with some good news. So they go, this is going well. Everybody's thrilled with you about this. Here's a bad thing. Also, people love you for this. <laughs> like, so that's how he, That's how they would tell him bad news. They that's couldn't just fun. go, here's a bunch of bad of news. Of course. Yeah. He's a man baby. He's a fucking toddler. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's a toddler. It's exactly how I talk to my kids about uh, shit. We played the video yesterday of mm. uh, Kanye. Uh, sitting in the White House talking to him, just ranting about stuff, it about was... other galaxies and alternative yeah. universes. And, and Trump's like, mm. Yeah. He's like, How about this guy? <laughs> this guy's great. I don't know what the fuck he's saying. <laughs> but, but he's just letting him rant, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, his oh. whole thing, like, it was very simple, too. He goes, Do you like me? Yeah. Then I like you. <laughs> that was it. That yeah. was the standard. Yeah. It's fucking hilarious. It is hilarious. Dana White. Who I love. Yeah. He's really good friends with him. Yeah, he likes him a lot. It's a very, very funny relationship. But Trump came to one of the UFCs. I was at that one. Yeah, you were there. Right? Right, he that, came over and shook my hand. Was that Vegas? I believe it was New York, wasn't it? No. No. I don't know where it was. Maybe it, it was, was Vegas. Vegas. Was it? It was Vegas, because I remember... No, it was Madison Square Garden. He was came it? to one in Madison Square Garden, because I remember he was there, and there, there, the security was off the charts. It was hard to get into the building. No, he came to a different one. He came to two. One, yeah. you were there. That was Vegas. I didn't meet him that time. That was when he was president. The other one was after he was president. The one that I met, the one that I met him, the one I was at was... There he is, T-Mobile Arena, Vegas, yeah, you were Vegas. right? Vegas, yes. See, that one, yes. you're right. That one, he came and, there's Masvidal. Masvidal yes. likes him, too. I remember but this. He came and, that's right, he came and sat down and everybody yes. cheered him. I remember Las Vegas Metro uh, police back in the tunnel. Yeah. Where um, I normally, if I'm, if I went with you to one of these, you know... They're just like, yeah, go where you want, you know? Right. And they were like, where the fuck do you think you're going? <laughs> I was like, I'm going over here. And they're like, no, you're not. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Is that a Melania Stand-In? That's Who's his Gumad. That? Who's that? That's his Gumad. Oh, my goodness. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no, that's that dude's wife. Listen, that's what you think. The guy. I don't like how she's smiling in the back. Old guy. She like seems that. a little happy to be there. This Maybe is that's his. That is a fucking wow. side piece. Side piece. Hey. Get a nice side piece. Got to have a little piece on the side. Some, some guys have a side piece. Fucking if you're a, if you own a casino, you do. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, I um, I can't keep my main piece happy. <laughs> How do you keep a side piece happy? I don't know. 